Ah, the elusive G-spot. If you could just find it, then a woman would do what you want. They'll go... But with the G-spot being harder to find than the meaning of life, is it scientific fact or erotic fiction? It all started when German gynaecologist Ernest Grafenberg announced Christopher Columbus style that he had discovered a miraculous, highly sensitive spot in the vagina. And like many misguided things in history, the spot was named after the man who discovered it. The Grafenberg spot, or the G spot, is said to be located somewhere between two to three inches up the front of the vaginal wall, somewhere near the vaginal opening and the urethra. It supposedly creates a highly intense orgasm when stimulated. Yes! Yes! And potential female ejaculation. <laughs> Sounds awesome, doesn't it? That's why it's been on the cover of magazines, the topics of books, songs, and endless artifacts of cultural fascination. But see, the thing is, the existence of the G-spot has not actually ever been proven. Graftenberg's study was done in the 1950s, and it was based on, well, not much science at all. It was more based on, and I am not making this up, my own experiences of numerous women. Since then, researchers have used surveys, imaging scans, and biopsies of women all trying to locate and define the presumably orgasmic area on the vaginal wall known as the G-spot. Most evidence of the G-spot was anecdotal, and the studies that do find evidence are so small to be statistically insignificant. Some studies found evidence of a highly sensitive spot in women who report having orgasms during vaginal intercourse, but it's likely this was just an extension of the clitoral nerves into the vagina. Then, in 2012, in a review of 96 published studies, an Israeli and an American research team came to the conclusion, without a doubt, a discrete anatomical entity called the G-spot does not exist. The G-spot debate is all kinds of fun and games, but we really need to start being more careful with our use of the word G-spot. Some sexologists claim it can be psychologically damaging for women who might think that they're inadequate or sexually dysfunctional for not being able to experience orgasm through G-spot stimulation. And even if they don't, it could just amount to lots of wasted hours going, is that it? Is that it? That it? So what do you guys think? Do you have any of your own experiences of the G-spot and would like to share? Or are you siding with the scientists here and think that it's all a bunch of baloney? Let us know in the comments below. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.